Hello, this is Miss Tarina, and today I'm going to read a story called Dragons Get Colds Too, written by Rebecca Rowan, illustrated by Charles Santoso. And here on the cover, oh, sorry about the glare, there is a picture of a girl wearing a round little doctor's hat on their forehead, and here is a dragon. You can see their two sad eyes. They have many, there are many, many thermometers in the dragon's mouth. And he looks very sad. I didn't know that dragons could get colds. Let's read the story. Every new dragon owner learns that just like humans, dragons get colds too. However, caring for a sick dragon can be a daunting task. Follow these simple steps and your dragon is sure to feel better in no time at all. Here we have our dragon. Oh, that's a lot of snot. Yellow boogers pouring out of his nose. Ugh, has a terrible cold. And there's the little girl. She is surrounded by lots and lots of books. I think she's doing research. How do you care for a sick dragon? Step one, determine that your dragon does indeed have a cold. Here's a fact. Dragons rarely use tissues due to their flammability. That means they can catch on fire. Instead, dragons try to wipe their noses on acceptable alternatives. Um, a dragon seldom wears sleeves so your sleeve is the next best thing. <laughs> so here we are. Here's the little girl taking her dragon's temperature, feeling the forehead, probably like one of your parents have done or a teacher. And they have a thermometer in their mouth. Oh, yep. Dragon has a cold. And on this page, we can see the picture of the dragon. Achoo! Oh no, lots of snot blowing out of his nose. Yuck! And there's a little girl trying to wipe his nose with her clothes. Because, like the book says, dragons don't wear sleeves. Oh dear. Could be very, very messy. <laughs> Thanks to your skillful investigation, it's official. You have a sick dragon. It's time for treatment. Oh, and here's our picture. There's the dragon. He's lying down on a pillow. He's got a whole bunch of thermometers in his mouth. The poor, poor dragon. And there's the little girl, the doctor. She's taken all of his temperatures. Yes, indeed, a sick dragon. So what do you do? Step two. Give your dragon the proper cold medicine. Please contact your local dragon pharmacy for more information. Dragon pharmacy? I wonder where we could find those. I mean, a pharmacy, that's where, that's where we get medicine. Sometimes you go to places like CVS or Rite Aid or Walgreens. Do they have dragon medicine? Hmm, that's something to think about. Fact, it is nearly impossible to give medicine to dragons. Oh, sounds like dragons like it about as much as cats like taking medicine. Blah. Here's a tip. The classic spoon airplane method is a simple and effective distraction technique, yet your dragon may require a bit more creativity. It's best to have a full dance routine ready. But remember, dragons are rather harsh critics. Hmm. So let's take a pic look at these pictures here. Here's the girl at the pharmacy. There's the man behind the counter. He has a big white mustache standing behind a black counter with a whole bunch of medicine. So they went to the pharmacy to get the dragon medicine, but now she has to give it. Whoops, sorry, lost the page there. Now she has to give it to the dragon, and that is not easy to do. Hmm. She's doing a whole dance routine. So, I don't know how many of you have ever had to have medicine and it tastes really yucky and maybe your mom or dad or a friend, they got the medicine in a spoon and went on an airplane and popped it in your mouth. 
Well, that's exactly what she's trying to do in this picture. Sorry about the glare. She is, but because the dragon is so big, she has to do a whole routine, a whole airplane dance routine. And dragons are a harsh critic. In the picture, this dragon only gave her one point, just one. That's not very good. A good routine gets 10 points. A bad routine, oh no, poor girl. Now that you have medicated your dragon, it is important to feed it an adequately nutritious meal. So here they are in the kitchen. There's the dragon, the back of the dragon's head and long neck, the green long neck looking in the cupboards. And there's food all over the counter. And on the other page here, we have the girl she is desperately trying to make toast. Looks like she burned toast because there's two pieces of bread here. She's pulling out of this white toaster. Both pieces are black. And I see a banana and I see eggs and I see probably looks like a smoothie, like trying to make a yummy smoothie to drink, but it's disgusting and went splat on the wall. So instead of finding good things to eat, they're just making a huge mess. This is hard work. Step three, feed your dragon spicy food. It is the perfect thing to clear out that stuffy nose. But here's a fact, dragons love volcanic sushi rolls and exploding chili rice cakes. Volcanic, that means they go boom, they're super hot, like a volcano, volcanic. You put one in your mouth and your whole mouth is gonna feel like the heat of a volcano. Whoa, that's hot. But here's a tip. Wear protective clothing if following this step. Fiery sneezes and rotten fishy burps could prove dangerous. Proceed with extreme caution. How is she being careful? Let's take a look at the picture. So here we are. Here's the dragon, the green dragon, big open mouth. Here comes the volcano sushi roll, super spicy. And to get it in his mouth, she is wearing fire protective clothing. She's got a face shield on, and then she's standing on the end of this board, like a seesaw, you know those things that go up and down like this? And she stomps on it, the board goes up in the air, the, flinging the food into the dragon's mouth. Because remember, you don't want a dragon to burp on you. Blech. And they're flammable. That means things will catch on fire. Poof. You don't want to be one of those things. Woo. <gasps> Excellent work. Your dragon's tummy is now satisfied. But uh, next, your dragon is probably looking for something fun to do. <gasps> oh my goodness, look. This is why, there she is. She has her protective clothes on. The girl, looks like she also has some yellow cushions. But now she has the garden hose, a long brown garden hose, and out of it is water pouring onto the dragon who's spouting flames through his nose and his mouth and his ears. Poosh! Well, I guess that means <laughs> that his nose is clear, but he did set the uh, curtains on fire. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want to take care of a dragon. It seems like a lot of work. All right, so dragon's feeling better. Step four, entertain your dragon. Hmm, how do you entertain a dragon? Fact, bored dragons are grumpy dragons, especially when they're stuck inside. Here's a tip, choose activities that will appeal to your dragon. Try a board game or a charming giraffe puzzle. Dragons think giraffes with their long necks and skinny legs are hilarious. One giraffe puzzle guarantees at least one hour of uninterrupted dragon amusement. Cool. All right, so here we are in our picture. There's the dragon, the big green dragon. He's lying on his back and rather than playing with the puzzle, he's eating the puzzle pieces. And the girl is looking at the puzzle pieces. She's sitting on the floor next to him going, hmm, Where'd the top of the puzzle go? <laughs> we know. The dragon ate it. <laughs> Great.
right. Your dragon is now sufficiently entertained, although all the fun is mostly likely wearing him out. Oh, the oh. The dragon wants to eat more. So here's a picture. Here's the dragon. And he's trying to eat one of the board games. And the little girl is pulling the other way. No, no, no. Don't eat the board game. That's for playing, not eating. Arr, she's pulling on one in super hard. The dragon's pulling on the other side. He's just playing with her, though. He's smiling. <laughs> Step five. Sick dragons need lots of rest. Dragons absolutely hate to rest. Hmm. Kind of sounds like many kids I know. <laughs> if your dragon is being especially stubborn, offer to read it a book. Consider building a fort for the two of you to read in. And always bring flashlights. Shadow puppets in a fort are a must. Everyone knows that. That's a cool idea. I actually do like shadow puppets. Okay, so let's show you what this is on this page here. There she is. They're drawing pictures and she's telling a story and they're in a fort. They're gonna they have pillows and blankets and the dragon is looking at a flashlight. Hmm. He's holding the light toward his face, peering into the light. Oh, that's bright. Do you know what a shadow puppet is? It's pretty cool. So you have a flashlight that makes the light and then you can use your hand and you hold it in front of the flashlight with some light to still go through. So like that. And then it'll shine your shadow on the wall. It's pretty fun to check out sometime. If you're not really into shadow puppets, you can do puppets any other way too. Puppets are just plain cool. Fantastic. You have eased your dragon into a restful slumber. Now make sure to keep it that way. All right, here we are. Our pagers, the dragon is so restful and happy. <coughs> I bet dragons have a huge snore and covered in blankets in the fort. It's a wonderful, cozy fort, except there's the girl sticking out the other side. She's trying to crawl out. I think she's stuck under the dragon. Oh no. <laughs> she's trying to crawl out, but the dragon is sleeping on her. Ah! She's getting squished. <laughs> Step six, never wake a sleeping dragon. And I mean never. Sick dragons tend to fall asleep anywhere and everywhere. Leave your dragon wherever it has fallen asleep and do your best to avoid any noisy activity while it slumbers. Don't be fooled by those deep snores though. Dragons are very light sleepers. Here's a picture of our big green dragon who decided to fall asleep right in front of the television. So the little girl who is sitting in this black chair, she can no longer see the dragon. She can't see the TV. All she can see is the dragon. Ugh. Outstanding. Your dragon is getting the rest it needs. Here comes the final step. Here's the dragon. Oh, oh, waking up, eyes are popping, heads popped up, eyes are opening, yawning. Where's our girl? Oh, she is exhausted. She is curled up on the tail of the dragon and she is snoring super loud. Look how big her mouth is open and all around her are these squiggly lines. That means she's snoring. I think she woke up the dragon but she must be exhausted after taking care of that dragon. <sighs> Dragons need time to recover. This is step seven. Fact, dragons on the mend are terrible at remembering to take it easy. Tip, singing along to some favorite tunes is the perfect activity for any music loving dragon. Consider adding an instrument of your own making to the mix, except 
Don't forget to wear earplugs. Oh no. Dragon is having a great time. He's banging away at the pots and pans. He has a pot on his head. Lots of pots and pans that he got from the kitchen. And then he's using wooden spoons as his drumsticks bang, 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 bang. So loud, the little girl, she is here, is covering her ears. Ah, too loud, too loud. Congratulations, you have successfully nursed your sick dragon back to health. You see, with a little confidence and guidance, anyone can tackle the challenge of caring for their dragon. Aw, oh, look at this dragon and his big happy smile. The snot from his nose is gone. His eyes are wide open. He's so happy and ready. And his little girl is exhausted. She is sitting on the floor. She has dark circles under her eyes. Her hair is a mess. She's smiling because she's happy he's better, but it's not a bright smile. It's an exhausted smile. Whew. She needs some help. And remember, if you take good care of your dragon, your dragon will always take good care of you. And what are they doing together? Here's the dragon flying through the sky with a little girl on his back. Whee! That would be amazing. Uh-oh, but take a look. What happens next? There's the little girl and she has a cold. She went a choo. <laughs> so that was Dragons Get Colds Too, written by Rebecca Rowan and illustrated by Charles Santoso. Have a great day.